Okay. Testing. One, two. Testing. Can you hear me? Hey, Myra. Hey, Myra. It's fine, Myra. It's fine. I thank you. I, I really appreciate your tweet. I appreciate your I appreciate your tweet, Myra. I greatly appreciate that a lot. Alright, so So yeah, I appreciate that so much. That's very sweet of you. And I appreciate you too for and I appreciate you for being very kind. Well, anyway, hello everyone and welcome to NXT. Welcome to NXT. It's time for universe mode. Time for more universe mode of NXT. So this should be a very exciting edition of NXT. We've got some big things coming up. We're going to be kicking things off. With Johnny Gargano. Yeah, you can only imagine how Johnny Gargano must be feeling. Considering that he came up short at NXT TakeOver from winning the NXT Championship. And not only that. And not only that, what, what happened when the show went off the air is that we saw the fiend, Bray Wyatt, you know, claw Johnny Gargano. Hello, Sean. Hello, Michael. How are you? So how is everyone doing? So we're going to be hearing from Johnny Gargano. That's not very that's not very Johnny Gargano like <laughs> Now can we now, now, now can we all have a friendly stream today and not try to cause any uh arguments? I'd greatly appreciate that. Your thoughts on that? about Murphy well I would like to see Murphy versus uh, Escobar This is very un Johnny Gargano like.
That was very un Johnny Gargano like. Yeah, I have to agree. He normally comes out here spewing. It's it's all about the Gargano way, and that, that was very bizarre. He came out acting like he came out acting all genuine and normal. What what the hell did the Fiend do to him? We know that the Fiend assaulted him at the end of Takeover. What the heck did the Fiend? What the heck did the fiend do to Johnny Gargano? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? That was very un Johnny Gargano like. This is not fair for Ricochet to not be in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I know. Like, why is it? It's like that. Because I follow uh, this guy named uh, uh, Chris. Chris Days, Chris Dees or Chris Days. I forgot his name. But I know his name starts. is Chris. Um. He said something along the lines of Adam Pearce, for some reason, says if you want to get into the Royal Rumble, you have to get past AJ Styles. But then there are a select few that will just say, nah, I'm declaring my name in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> like, seriously, like, why are a select few have to qualify, but yet... 90% of the others have to declare their entry into the Royal Rumble match. It literally makes no sense. Well, I guess only time will tell what, what The Fiend did to him. But coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we've got it's time for our first match of the night. And that'll be Santana Garrett. She'll be going one-on-one -on -one with the rising upstart Nessa. So this should be a very interesting w women's match. Two fan favorites going at it in the ring. The one thing I don't like is that if someone is in the Royal Rumble match, but then they end up pinning the champion. So, in my opinion, and I know this may upset you know who in here, but I'm just saying the facts here. Alexa Bliss can't be in the Royal Rumble, and, and, and nor should she, because why have her pin Oscar if she's just going to declare her entry in the Royal Rumble match, when we all know she's just going to get a title shot eventually? So I don't see that logic in just having her go into the Rumble and then pin the champion on the exact same day. So I, I just don't like that. I just think World Championship matches... Well, here it comes. Here comes the young upstart Nessa. Yeah, I agree. She has to do one or the other. She can't be in the Rumble and compete for the belt. I don't like it when WWE has... You know, I don't like it when WWE has, like, someone in the Rumble and then challenge for the title later. Later that night. Like what they did with Roman Reigns in 2017. He was in the... You know, you know, Nessa has been on quite the rise as of late. She hasn't really been... She hasn't really been getting a lot of wins, but, you know, she's been on quite the rise lately. She's been impressing a lot of people backstage with her incredible talents in the ring. Yeah, she's yeah, she's probably one of the best wrestlers to ever wear thongs. <laughs> yeah, Becky kind of did it too. To me, it's either you're in the Rumble or you have a title match. Oh, oh, Nessa went went for an elbow drop, but Santana was able to roll out of the way. Nice suplex. Yeah, because everyone was like, I think, I, I think everyone was expecting like Finn Balor to return. 
I think everyone was expecting like Finn Balor to come back or maybe like the debut of Samoa Joe or something like that. I think that's what people were expecting. And now Santana, Santana Garrett has control over Nessa. It, yeah, Nessa may not have a lot of wins, but you know, oh, but she's been very, very impressive. Oh, Diddy T. And oh, snap, Diddy T. Not, and not, not. Nice DDT. I know, it's just so holy. I, 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 I know. Oh, man! Nice move. Oh, wow. I tell you, Nessa is so impressive. She's just so quick. Yeah, for a girl who's wearing thongs or flip flops, as what they're called when it comes to Matt Riddle. Someone who's wearing flip flops, she's very, very she's got she's got quite a lot of speed. Yeah, she's very quick with those flip flops on, that's for sure. It's like she's mastered the ability to wrestle in fl flip thing flip flops. <laughs> oh spin out power bomb and a kick out. Yeah, thongs. Yeah, we yeah we Australians we call flip flops. We call them thongs. <laughs> yeah, we call them thongs. I bet no one knew that. <laughs> oh, look out! All oh, nice reversal. Oh! oh look out! Oh, nice move. Oh, look out. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, God. Oh wow, really? Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, when I say thongs, I don't mean that. I mean I'm I mean her shoes. Yeah. Yeah, we Australians we call we call <laughs> that's what we call flip flops. We call them thongs. Oh man, nice move. And oh, there's the tie wave. There's the tie wave by Nessa. Looking to score her second victory. Oh, and a kick at it too. Nessa was looking for the victory. Nice swanton! Wow! Pulling out all the stops! Oh, and a kick at it too! Nessa once again going up high! The water tap! The yeah, she calls that the water tap! And Nessa gets the win! Wow, Nessa! Finally scores a win! That's her second win ever! That is her second victory ever! Here in Universe Mode! Well, congratulations to her! <laughs> wow, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I know the difference. But, but we call, but we call, but we call, what you call underwear, we, 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 
Sometimes we call them either underpants. We sometimes call them underpants, or some, or sometimes we just call them undies. <laughs> and sometimes we call them jocks as well. We sometimes call them jocks as well. So, is yeah, so we Australians? We have kind of different personations of what underwear are. But hey, in America, they're trunks. <laughs> because you see wrestlers wear them all. Because you see a lot of wrestlers wear them. Oh! <laughs> no entrances. Excuse me, that's kind of rude. That's kind of rude game. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought it would have been set. Okay. I do not like my entrances being ignored. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's the pro? Yeah, we use all those words too. Oh, oh that's good. Why WWE don't drop the storyline between Lacey and Charlotte? It's boring. Well, it's Lacey Evans. What what do you expect? What do you expect from someone by the name of Lacey Evans? You know what? I'll say it here. I'll, you know what? I'll say it here just because it's funny. I'll 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 I'll, I'll say it here. Lacey Evans sucks. Okay, we all know she sucks. They didn't even get a jobber entrance. That's even worse than a jobber entrance. Just, just coming back from break and they're already in the ring. <laughs> well, it's time for some cruiserweight action. Here comes the man. Here comes the man that could not, it is apparently not allowed to declare his name into the Royal Rumble match. Justice for Gulak. <laughs> well, here comes a man who believes that Dominic Mysterio is not, does not represent 205. Drew Gulak vows to be the next man to win the Cruiserweight Championship from Dominic Mysterio. And here comes, here comes the ninja, Akira Tozawa. I'm surprised he doesn't have his ninjas with him. No ninjas tonight, it seems like. <laughs> yeah, what the heck is... Yeah, it was. It should have been a good match on paper, but God, what the hell's happened to Peyton, man? What the hell has happened to Peyton? I can't really blame Charlotte. <laughs> like, what... The match, the match could have been better, but damn it, what the hell's happened to Peyton, man? She was, she used to be good. Yeah, you love, yes, exactly. You love to see the Hurt Business kind of go through that stage of a breakup. You know what? I've actually now realized something. I've now, I've now realized something, and I think if fans actually use their heads for a change, then the things they like will stay. You know like how people say that WWE always takes away the things they like? Well, 
here is my here, here, here is how I would fix this problem. If you like something, act like you don't. Act like you don't like it. Because if if you don't like it, they'll keep it together. Like look at how long Ziggler and Rude have lasted together. Because people don't like Rude and Ziggler together, WWE is like, oh, you don't like them? Well, we'll keep them together. Well, I, I think if people acted like they never liked the Hurt Business, I think WWE would keep them together. I think that's what you should... I think that's what we as fans should do. If we like something, act like you don't like it. And that way Vince will keep it. Because he'll say, oh, you don't like this? Well, okay, well, we'll keep it then. How fu- like... And if we act like we like Peyton and Lacey together, WWE will be like, Oh, you like Lacey and Peyton together? Well, we'll break them up. I don't know, I just thought of that as a funny idea. Oh, and Gulak. Gulak now showing his power. He's a submission. He is a submission specialist. He's probably more of a submission specialist than Natalia ever ever is. So you know, can't argue with him on that exchange. Tazawa now with a reversal. Oh, oh! Yeah, exactly. Roll. Yeah, roll. Yeah, roll. Reverse it. Hate the things you like. Hate the things you like and like the things you hate. And in that way, Vince will get confused. <laughs> Confuse the old man. It's like a, it's like we're playing a game of Pokemon. Like, use Confuse Ray on Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon is confused. Vince McMahon hit himself in confusion. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Tazawa with a roll up on Gulak. Oh man! And Gulak was able to revert, was able to break free. And look at this! Oh my goodness, jeez, gee wheeze, man! What a move by Gulak and a kick out. Well, I think keeping it at, well, I think making it two hours would be better instead of making it three hours. Like, why would you want to make your show three hours? Oh, look out. Gulak. Gulak applied. Ding Dong Hello is better than Miz and John Morrison's segment. Absolutely, I will agree. And it was better... And Ding Dong Hello was a lot more entertaining than Alexa Bliss's Playhouse as well. Don't forget that. It was way more entertaining than Alexa's Playhouse. Have Jigglypuff sing to annoy Vince. <laughs> Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. <laughs> and then he'll be all. Then he'll go. Shut up! <laughs> in his in his typical Vince McMahon voice, Gulak with a roll up. Oh look out! Oh man! And now Gulak with a. Three hours is too damn long. Yeah, exactly. Like, do you want people to to do you want? Oh, the fans to get bored of AEW by sitting there, sitting around for three hours. Tazawa with a nice, with a with a nice knee right to the face, trying to put Gulak away. There's the cover, Shining Wizard. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, yeah, I'm very sure people really enjoyed seeing Alex Oscar terrified.
Yes, because yeah, yes, Sean, because I really wanted to because I really wanted to enjoy seeing Oscar be terrified of a five foot woman. And now back into the gulag. And there it is. There's the victory. Tazawa taps and Gulak gets get gets the victory with the Gulak. If they were to make SmackDown's three hours, then yeah. But the Royal Rumble, in my opinion, should really be given to young up-and-comers. Royal Rumble should be given to people Yes, they did, Myra. They did ruin Oscar. Making her terrified of a five-foot five, five foot toddler is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. Johnny Gargano is coming back to the ring. What's going on here? Johnny Gargano, we saw him earlier. And he said he 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 did say he said he had to make something right. So, wonder what the heck he means. Well, we're about to find out what he means. Johnny Gargano heads to the ring. It's not that, Sean. It's not that it doesn't benefit Bailey. It does benefit Bailey. Does winning the Royal Rumble benefit Alexa Bliss? Listen, people complained about Charlotte Flair winning it last year. Oh, it should be a rising star. You know, people complained about complained about Charlotte winning it last year. It benefits younger stars. We don't seriously. So. Well, Johnny Gargano's back out here. Wonder what's on his mind now. Wait, he's called Tommaso Ciampa to the ring? Oh, wait a minute. Well, here comes Ciampa. We haven't seen Ciampa since The Fiend took him out a few weeks ago. Johnny Gargano has called Tommaso Ciampa to the ring. What is this all about? What? Is Johnny referring to reunite with Tomas with Champa? Oh my god.
Are you kidding me? What? Are you kidding me? Whoa, Johnny Gargano just re wants, wanted to reunite DIY. What the heck has happened to Johnny Gargano? This man has gone completely insane. This man has gone completely berserk. What happened to it all being about the Gargano way? I have no idea. Johnny Gargano has really changed his uh, motivations. And we've got a huge United Kingdom title match coming up. Kyle O'Reilly will defend his newly won UK championship against the former Cruiserweight champion Santos Escobar. Well, this should be a very interesting matchup, I will ha I will say. <sighs> Sean, you know how to push people's buttons. Yeah. Eh, yeah, gotta deal with it when it comes to him and Alexa Bliss. See the WWE's bringing back Fastlane? Eh, I would rather them not bring back Fastlane, but whatever. Well, the thing is, Kevin, Chayna and Nia could possibly win those titles back. Knowing Alexa Bliss, or, or not just Alexa Bliss, knowing Lacey Evans and Peyton Royce, especially, pa especially Lacey, she'll probably try and do something in that title match. So here we go, big, so here we go, big title match. Big title match coming up here. Oh, this is going to be good. Santos Escobar breaking out of the cruiserweight division, now branching out into other divisions. He is now ready for a big title match. We saw Kyle O'Reilly at NXT TakeOver NXT Takeover win his first singles title, the United Kingdom Championship. He knocked off Wade Barrett. Yeah, that was bad news for Wade Barrett. And uh, we know Wade Barrett hasn't really been, you know, we know Wade Barrett would have been having a lot of sleepless nights. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> a lot of sleepless nights. That is definite. It's so weird to, it's so weird that you guys can't, it's so sad that you guys can't hear the music. It doesn't really have that wrestling feel. <laughs> it's like, obviously I can hear the music, but when it comes to the audio, you can't hear it at all. It's so, stu so weird. But it's all for copyright issues, so... Yeah, yeah, I feel bad for her too. Oh, here he comes, Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, listen to this ovation for Kyle O'Reilly. There he is with a title around his waist. Come on, Kyle, do it. Come on, Kyle, do it. Yes, there it is. The Qatar. There it is, the Qatar is here! Qatar O'Reilly is here, look at him go! Yeah, you gotta love it, the Qatar! Carl O'Reilly! Bring in, bring in the Qatar. Listen to this ovation for Kyle O'Reilly. The feds absolutely love Kyle, Kyle O'Reilly.
Well, it did get added. And there he is. And there he is, the challenger. Santos Escobar, the former cruiserweight champion. Carla Raleigh has become the first non-UK star to win the United Kingdom title. And there he is, the champion, Kyle O'Reilly, defending his title for the first time. Wade Barrett called Kyle O'Reilly a choke artist, but on but at NXT TakeOver, Kyle O'Reilly on the big stage, on the big night, proved that he was not a choke artist. Absolutely not. The United Kingdom title on the line, and here we go. Kyle O'Reilly. Feeling motivated after winning his first. Oh yeah, that's going to be a great match. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice transition into a suplex. Do you think Hayley Ray loses? Well, every time we think she does, every time we think she does lose, she ends up winning. It's like opposite day. Oh! Nice drop kick by, by Escobar. Normally, whenever we think someone's gonna someone's gonna lose, they end up winning, like Sasha Banks, like all of last year. I th felt like there was like so many matches we thought she was losing, but then she ended up winning, like the women's ta tag titles from Bliss and Cross. I was like, oh no way, they're winning this. They're definitely losing. Or oh, into a submission, into a Boston Crab, and now Kyle O'Reilly reverses it. Oh, nice reversal. Oh, wait a minute into a pinning position and, and and Escobar gets the shoulders up oh man right to the back of the head of Escobar whoa and O'Reilly diving through Carl O'Reilly diving through the ropes and now O'Reilly goes up top Oh, drop kick. Yeah, 2018 wasn't the best year for Sasha. It was one of her it was one of the, her worst years. Not everybody needs to be a Grand Slam champion, but hey. Two, Just like how not every big name needs to win a Royal Rumble. Because here's the thing. Many reasons why I, I feel like Alexa shouldn't win the Royal Rumble is because, you know, look at... Look at people like, like Kurt Angle, Eddie Guerrero, Kane, Big Show, Chris Jericho. So many of those names, people have always said they've wanted to win a Royal Rumble. But all those names I just listed to you never won a Rumble. Now, they never had a Rumble win in their entire careers. Like, big names don't... Sometimes if you're a big player, sometimes you don't need a Royal Rumble. Oh, look at this. Oh, Kyle O'Reilly into a submission. Oh, look at this. Painful submission here. Oh, uh, don't remind us. Oh, man, what a knee by, by Escobar. Escobar looking to... To, to, to Escobar looking to to crush Kyle O'Reilly's dreams 
of retaining the Cruiserweight Championship. Yeah, yeah, Escobar looking to, to silence Kyle O'Reilly's momentum. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. A Romeo special. Oh, my Lord. A Romeo special. Wait a minute. Transitions into a Dragon Sleeper. Oh, my God. Look at this pain. Kyle O'Reilly's got to be in. Oh, my Lord. The pain. The suffering. Kyle O'Reilly's got to be in in that hold. My God. Oh, but O'Reilly breaks free. How? How did O'Reilly break free? Oh, man. What a knee by Escobar. Oh, look out, Escobar. Oh, drops O'Reilly with a TKO. Oh, O'Reilly counters. And now O'Reilly with the suplex. Oh, and Escobar kicked out. Jesus. That was in, that was intense. Yeah, that was an intense back and forth moment there between O'Reilly and Escobar. Oh, what a super kick by Escobar! Escobar with a super kick. Escobar now looking to put it away, looking to hit the Phantom Driver. Wait a minute! Oh, O'Reilly counted. Oh, O'Reilly counted. O'Reilly counted. The Phantom Driver, oh look at this, into a cross arm, arm and leg breaker, cross arm leg breaker, cross arm leg breaker, oh look at this, going for a submission maneuver, submission maneuver, the cross arm leg breaker, by, by Escobar, oh, oh, by O'Reilly to Escobar, excuse me, and now look at this, oh no, oh Phantom Driver, Phantom Driver, Oh, and O'Reilly gets the shoulders up. My God. O'Reilly got the shoulders up. Oh, man. Reversal. Oh, super kick again. Oh, went for the elbow. Oh, man, what a match this has been. Oh, man. Oh, man, what a fantastic match this has been between these two superstars absolutely I gotta agree this has been a, this has been a great match and O'Reilly with a suplex O'Reilly with a suplex could that do it oh no my god another kick out and now you know I was right the entire time Randy showed compassion to Bliss and she still selfishly selfishly burnt his face oh look at this oh back into the submission again oh back into the cross arm leg breaker oh and that's it Escobar taps Escobar taps Escobar tapped out Riley locked in the cross arm leg breaker and Escobar had no choice but to tap and O'Reilly retains after a grueling match what a win congratulations to Carl O'Reilly a successful title defense that was a fantastic match Yeah, at least he's selling the injuries, yeah. I was right the entire time. Alexa Bliss selfishly burnt him in the face after he showed compassion. And and, 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 and Short over here was all like, oh, it has to do with the Fiend. It has to do with the Fiend. No, it didn't. You're the one that brought up Randy Orton wearing the mask, dude. You're the one that brought it up. Don't don't get upset at me. You brought up Randy Orton wearing that mask. We got some women's action coming up.
Got some women's action coming up. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, the women's tag team champions. You know, Candice LeRae has been taken aback by Johnny Gargano's actions on this episode of NXT. She's she she says that she's feeling worried for Gargano that this isn't the Johnny that she knows. Like she's very she's been very complacent. She she's just very worried about him. Well, what like like yeah like the Fiend attacked him after NXT Takeover. Like the Fiend like the Fiend like shoved his thinking fingers down his throat. Like I can understand why Candice is feeling concerned. Well. The Way, if they are still called that, will be defending their women's tag team titles at the Royal Rumble. And here come the, the tag champions, Candice and, and Indy Hartwell. Exactly. Exactly, Mara. Is it... Candice and Indy Hartwell represent the way. Like, I don't even know if we can even call it that anymore. Yeah, like Johnny Gargano has really gone insane. Wants to reunite his partnership with with Tommaso Ciampa. Like, I like he, he's just gone completely mental. <laughs> well, here come Deonna Perazzo and Chelsea Green. Could you call them Tony Storm's lackeys, I guess? Well, yeah, they did. Rep yeah, they were in our Tony Storm's corner at uh, NXT TakeOver. So here we go. We've got some women's tag team action. Women's tag team action. This should be exciting. Yeah. You, you'd have to think it'd be very difficult for Candice to focus right now considering what's been going on with her husband. Oh, I definitely agree with you there. I definitely think she, it'd definitely be a d tough time for her to, th to concentrate considering that her husband has gone around just, you know, come out here acting all nice and acting all nice and and re reforming his tag team with, with Tommaso Ciampa. It's been a very rough 24 hours indeed for the Gargano way. Well, that's if they're even called that anymore considering what's been going on. Absolutely. Candice LeRae in a world in a world of hurt right now. Oh! Oh, look at this into an arm into an arm submission. You know what I'm thinking? I know it's a long shot and they probably won't do it, but I'm saying this for Naomi. I I think what would be best for her, and yes, I know Monday Night Raw may need her, but I, but I will say this. I feel like it's best that Naomi goes back to SmackDown. And she's put with Jimmy Uso, and they both get put in the Roman Reigns stable. I feel, I feel like that's what matters at this point. If you're going to put Naomi with anybody, Roman Reigns' bloodline faction is best suited for her. Oh, Candice LeRae now trying to make the comeback. There's the tag, and here comes Indy Hartwell. Oh, man! Deonna with a kick right to the face. Indy Hartwell. Oh, the young, the young up-and-coming Australian superstar. 
Yeah, Indy Hartwell has made a quite an impact here in universe mode. Two-time women's tag team champion. Here's the cover. And 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 and, and Indy Hartwell, you know, can't like, like Candice and Indy want to say that they. Like, putting Apollo Crews with them, I don't know how Apollo makes any sense. Like, sure, teasing Apollo's heel turn is a good way to start, but... Hey, the... Hey, guess what? She's not going to be joining the Hurt Business anyway, because the Hurt Business are starting to break up. Why say, Vincent Man? why say that, Sean? The Hurt Business are going to be breaking up soon. So, no. So, 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 so no. She, so, no. She's not going to be in the Hurt Business. By the time she's back, the Hurt Business will be punching each other in the throats. Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin will be punching each other punching each other in the throats. By the time Na by the time Naomi comes back. Oh, look at look at this! Oh Chelsea Green from behind. Chelsea, Chelsea Green from behind. Oh my oh my god, Candace! Holy cow, Candace! Just, oh look out! Oh moonsault by Candace! Candice now taking out, oh jeez, taking out Chelsea Green, Deonna Perrazzo, my god, there's a brawl exhibiting here, oh and Candice goes head first, oh man, Deonna Perrazzo and, and Indy Hartwell just brawling on the outside, Candice LeRae just got blasted, Oh, look out. Oh, man. I kind of knew that was Randy immediately when I heard his voice. And Indy Hartwell. And Indy Hartwell manages to get the shoulder, sh shoulders up. Oh, look out. Oh, into the armbar, into the armbar, Indy Hartwell, and Indy Hartwell has no choice but to tap out, wow. Indy Hartwell had no choice but to tap, Perrazzo and Green have knocked off the tag team champions. Alev, 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 Alev Virpa, the Viper in English, okay. I, I don't speak Spanish. Well, I think it was only inevitable that the women's tag team champions would lose considering what's been going on lately with Johnny Gargano. Yeah, the focus just, they just were not focused. They were just not focused tonight. Oh, well, we're going to be hearing from Wade Barrett. Oh, here we go. This should be interesting. I know. When the show f first started, I legit thought he was a luchador. <laughs> well, the thing is, Randy had to sell his injuries somehow. What, did you just want him to show up with his face all red and... Or have an eye patch like Alistair Black did? Well, this should be interesting. Let's hear what Wade Barrett has to say after losing the United Kingdom Championship to Kyle O'Reilly.
Yeah, Alexa thinks she. Yeah, Alexa thinks she's Super Mario all of a sudden, throwing fireballs at people. Well, Wade Barrett was in a foul mood, that's for sure. Well, <laughs> yeah, would you be in a foul mood when you when you lost your title? Wouldn't you be in a bad mood if you lost your title? Well, I can definitely agree. I can definitely say yes, I would be exactly. Well, I just received word. I just received word that Johnny Gargano just went to. William Regal's office and he demanded that he and Champa would get a title shot at the NXT Tag Team Titles. What? Some said the match was a squash. It was a squash. It was so one-sided. Yes, Alexa got some offense in, but it was more but it was more one-sided to Alexa Bliss. That's why I did not like how weak they made Oscar. They made her terrified of Alexa, which is ridiculous. Oscar is supposed to be the most feared woman on the roster, but but no, apparently a five foot toddler is capable of scaring the most scariest the most intimidating woman on the roster. Yeah, so Johnny and Ch Johnny went to Regal's office to ask for a tag team title match, and it was granted. So in our main event, Gargano and Ciampa will get a shot at the tag team titles. Are you serious? It's it's really crazy, wouldn't you think? Yeah, Johnny is really Johnny is really changed. Well, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to determine the number one contender for the NXT North American Championship. It's time for the glorious Robert Roode. Robert Roode believes that he deserves a shot at the NXT North American Championship. After the miss, after the Miz screwed him last week in a countout victory, and Damian Priest has also made his has made his presence known, saying that the Miz took the coward's way out at Takeover, and he wants a rematch at the North American title. So the only way that so the only way we can determine what's going on for the North American title is that William Regal has stated. That well, we'll just put the two of you in a match. The winner of that match will face the Miz for the North American Championship. You know something, Sasha and Becky never wrestled in a 30 minute Iron Man match. Sasha faced Bailey and Charlotte. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, but Alexa is good in, in this role. I prefer her not wrestling. Same, I agree. She's basically she's basically going to be the fiend now. She's basically turned into the fiend now. She's basically going to be no selling everything. And if you have her she's like bloody like when she transformed mid-match it's like I was watching friggin' Dragon Ball Z. It was like I was watching bloody Dragon Ball Z when Goku just turned Super Saiyan in the middle of his fights with his villains. So if Alexa Bliss can just transform at any time into this creepy version of herself, why should I even bother watching her matches? All she's, all she's gonna do is just stand there, take blows, and then Sister Abigail, that's it. So yeah, it's technically a squash. She doesn't need a title. And the flames erupt! And here comes Damien Priest! Uh, 
I would like that one day. I would like to see a Becky Bailey rivalry one day. The, f the flames erupt around the man that'll live in infamy. Yeah, Damien Priest proclaims that the that these that the flames ignite him. The flames keep him strong. Oh my god, how the heck does he do that? That is impressive. I'm sorry, man, but it's the straight-up truth. It's either you respect my opinion or you go cry about it in your room somewhere. That's all I'm going to say, Sean. It's either you respect my opinion or go cry in your room somewhere. So, so, so here we go. Robert Roode and Damien Priest. You like Lana. God bless your heart. <laughs> yes, Kevin likes Lana. Even I first questioned him about that. Oh, nice move. Into a pinning combination and a quick kick out. Reminds me of when The Undertaker got burned from... Yeah, Randy Orton. Yeah, yeah, Randy Orton's promo was pretty good. I think Randy Orton is one of the best promos. I know many will say, "Oh, but sometimes he can be boring." But in my opinion, I think Randy is one of the best promos, even when he is boring. Well, yeah, well, yeah, she'd find that hard to believe since you only talk about Alexa. <laughs> I prefer him as both. Oh, look at this. Oh, spine buster by Rude. Oh, and Priest manages to kick out. Yeah, he is great at both, but better as a heel. Oh, what a clothesline by Priest. And now Priest. Oh man, right on the back of the head and neck. Oh, what a kick. Oh, Priest with a big kick right to the face. Right to the glorious face of Robert Roode. Yeah, Robert Roode's glorious face might have been disfigured right there. There's the cover. There's two. Oh, and Roode manages to get the shoulders up. Robert Roode manages to get the shoulders up. Oh, look out. Oh, oh, oh. Glorious DDT. That's it. Glorious DDT. Oh, and Priest gets the shoulders up. Oh, reversal. 
And now Priest, oh look at this, Reckoning, there it is! The Reckoning! The Reckoning! Priest gets his rematch! Bianca or Bailey, I like both. Bianca's a better heel and Bailey's a better heel in my opinion. Damien Priest gets his rematch. He hits the reckoning on, on Rude. That's not how you spell Billy Kay's name, but okay. <laughs> I like Billy Kay. She, she's, she's hilarious. Well, Damien Priest gets his rematch for the North American Championship against The Miz. I'm loving Billy Kay's angle with Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot. It's fantastic stuff. And speaking of Ruby Riot, Ruby Riot will be having a rematch with the NXT Women's Champion Tony Storm. Yeah, Tony Storm believes that there is nobody on her level. We saw Ruby Riot, you know, last week on NXT, but it has now been confirmed that Ruby Riot has signed a full-time contract to NXT. Yeah, she's she she wants to fulfill her obligations in NXT, so disbanding away from her best friend, Liv Morgan who is the current SmackDown Women's Champion. You miss the Bell Twins? Yes, I do, Kevin. Love them. Where's Damien Sandow's theme song when you need it? Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! 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 And here comes the NXT Women's Champion. It's tourney time! Nope, don't miss her. She was shit. Oh, and oh, Sandow was hilarious as Mizdow. Anything he did. Anything Damien Sandow did, he turned into gold. Anything he did, he turned into gold. That was that, that was just so good. When Oscar's streak ended, did you hate that? Not really, no. Not really, because she lost to Charlotte. Charlotte was an okay person for her to lose the streak to, in my opinion. Well, just because he was paired with Miz is what ruined him. Don't you realize that actually got him over? The Miz Dow thing actually got him over, and it was and it was just hilarious. And don't forget, Curtis Axel pretended to be Hulk Hogan. 
he did the Axelmania thing. Remember that? Remember when he did Axelmania? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Axelmania runs wild on you? Well, that's because Morrison is just being just like the Miz, annoying. Oh, man. <laughs> right, right back, Soul was probably one of the weirdest tag teams. Why Baxel was one of the most bizarre tag teams ever? Like, why the hell were those two even paired up? Nice reversal by, 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 by Ruby. We're just talking about great bit good things from the past instead of focusing on this women's match. R Ruby Riot now has Tony Storm up. Oh, back backbreaker. Oh, I miss the good old days. I really do. I miss the days when Sheamus did, did um hilarious things with Damian Sandow. When Damian Sandow did the Gordian knot. And a little cup game where you gotta guess where the where the ball is in the cup. That 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 stuff was great. I miss those days. I wanna go back to those days. And back then the fans weren't, you know, entitled brats. And back then the fans weren't entitled brats. They cheered the faces and they booed the heels back then. Nowadays it's cheer whoever you want, boo whoever you want. And that's what, and, and that is what's made. And in my personal opinion, cheering who you want and booing who you want, in my opinion, I think that has what has really ruined wrestling. In my opinion, I think that's what really has hurt w wrestling, because then you, but then you'll get arguments. Oh, a pile driver by Tony Storm, and then you'll get people arguing over. Oh, my favorite is better than your favorite. No, my favorite's better than your favorite. Then you get just constant arguing back and forth, you know? So I so I really feel like the old days when you cheer all the faces and you boo all the heels was the better day in my opinion. Was was the better era because at least that way people just never really argued. Remember the League of Nations? I remember the League of Nations, Sheamus, Wade Barrett, Alberto Del Boring, and um, Rusev, and I remember the Spirit Squad, yes, I remember them. The Jobber Squad, as I called them. What went wrong, Rob Van Dam's return in 2013? I don't know, he was just a nostalgia act, in my opinion. I don't want Goldberg champion, period. So I don't want Goldberg to destroy him. I want Drew McIntyre to destroy him. Oh, kick knee right to the face there by Riot. Riot. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, went for the right kick. Oh, went for the right kick again. Oh, Ruby Riot went for the right kick again. Tony Storm versus Storm Zero. And another win for Tony Storm. The right, she tried to hit the right kick not once but twice. But, and then Storm reverses it into a Storm Zero. And the NXT Women's Champion has once again knocked off Ruby Riot. <laughs> the spirit jobbers. 
Well, the job... Well, I, uh, well, okay, to be fair, the Spirit Squad were former tag team champions, so I guess I can't really call them jobbers. Alberto Del Boring. <laughs> you should have said Alberto Del Bur... Alberto, Alberto Del Bum. <laughs> Alberto Del Bum, yeah. I just never liked Alberto. I found him boring. Goldberg or Oldberg? Oldberg. The only successful member of the Spirit Squad was Dolph Ziggler. Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega. I don't know why I said Kenny Omega. Kenny Dykstra failed. Yeah, they tried. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I see the name Kenny, I think of Kenny Omega for some reason. Kenny Dykstra. Yeah, they tried to get him over as a singles guy. And don't forget about Mikey! And uh, Johnny. Mikey and Johnny and there was Nikki. That was um, Ziggler. Del Rio failed in every major promotion in America. Yep. And let's not forget he's a real jerk. And what makes it worse is that Alberto is just a real jerk. Well, it looks like it's happening. Wow. The NXT Tag Team titles are on the line. Champa and Gargano face off against Imperium. I can't believe William Regal actually agreed to this. Here they come. DIY. Johnny Gargano's back in his old attire. Johnny Gargano's wearing his old attire again. Johnny Wrestling. The Johnny Wrestling attire is back. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa reuniting here on NXT. And here come Imperium. I think Myra means, I think Myra means Del Rio turned into an actual dick. <laughs> I think that's what, I think that's what she means. The Spirit Squad returned in 2016. That was quack quack. Yeah, Alberto Del quack quack. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget, Paige used to date that clown too. And here we go. Tag team titles on the line. DIY reuniting. Can DIY win the tag team titles on their first night back? Champa now. Oh, Champa lowering down Cesaro. Yes, I agree. Oh, Cesaro with a 619. Cesaro thinking he's Rey Mysterio. Shut him down. Dun, 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 dun. Shut him down. I really am looking forward to this Ali Kofi Kingston rivalry. This is going th that is going to be really fun. Yeah, him yeah, him targeting Kofi does make sense.
And there's a kick out. Fans want to see Johnny wrestling. And there's the tag. Oh, there's the tag. And here comes Johnny Gargano. Johnny wrestling is back. I can't believe I'm saying that. Look at Johnny Gargano wearing the Johnny wrestling clothes. Frog splash. The Gargano way is no more. My God. Frog splash and Eichner quickly kicks out. I can't believe Johnny Gargano's back. The what happened to the Gargano way? I have got no clue. Johnny Gargano just came to work one day and all of a sudden... It's like, it's like, it's like he got hit in the head one day. It's, it's like he got hit in the head one day and all of a sudden he's a different person. And let's not forget about something here. And, le and, and let's not forget something here about Kofi. Has people failed, has people forgotten to realize? Did people fail, or, like not only that people fail, did people forget that it was Big E and Xavier Woods that actually gave Kofi his title run? Do do, 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 do do people honestly have people honestly forgotten that <laughs> so 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 really Xavier and Kofi were the one Xavier and Big E were the ones that got Kofi his WWE title match Kofi couldn't do it himself so it took Big E and Xavier Woods winning a tag team gauntlet match for him to get his title match I, I wonder if people have forgotten that. So Kofi couldn't get it himself. If we're going to be real here. If we're going to be real, Kofi couldn't get his title shot on his own. It took Big E and Xavier Woods to do it for him. Oh, Chapa with a reversal. And now Chapa. Look at, look at this. Oh, dropping Cesaro. There's the tag. There's the tag. Oh, look at this now. Oh, Gargano escape. Gargano escape. It's locked in. The Gargano escape. Oh, and Eichner. And Eichner now. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Johnny Gargano. Look at this. Chopper. Chopper! Oh, the Project Chopper! Behind the referee's back, look at this! Johnny Gargano goes into the cover! DIY have done it! Look at this! Chopper hits the Project Chopper and Johnny gets the pin! We've got new tag team champions! I can't believe this! What a crazy night this has been! What a crazy night this has been! Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa are two-time NXT Tag Team Champions. What the hell has happened? Wow, what a... What a Johnny Gargano saga this was. Jeez. Well, thank you all so much for joining me for this edition of Universe Mode, guys. That is all I've got for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys were all entertained and enjoyed from this episode. Hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all next time for more universe mode and the next time i'll bring universe mode to you guys it'll be the royal rumble pay-per-view 
So be ready for the Royal Rumble. S set your clocks. Set your dates. Because we're going to get ready for the Royal Rumble. See you all then.